So let us take the discussion further of few MCQs of Indian economics. In the second nationalization of commercial banks, how many banks were nationalized? Six. Right. So these were Andhra Bank, Corporation Bank, New Bank of India, Oriental Bank of Commerce, Punjab and Sindh Bank, and Vijaya Bank. So six banks. Non-development expenditure involves uh, interest payments, subsidies, defense, and irrigation. Hmm. So what do you mean by non-development expenditure? It means that which is not helping in the development of the country as such, right? So for example, but you still have to make that, that expenditure. For example, in order even to collect taxes, you need to spend money. You need to have people who are collecting taxes. You need to have the systems in place. For auditing, you need people who are auditing governmental accounts, right? For printing of notes, there is an expenditure. For internal law and order, there is an expenditure. For expenditure which is made on defense, all of these are the non-governmental expenditure, right? So interest payments, subsidies, and defense, they are non-governmental expenditures. So C is the right answer. Of course, irrigation is helping. So in the development of the country, so that expenditure is there. The share of indirect taxes in the country's GDP. Well, in, in the share of indirect taxes in country's GDP is 5.4%. And the share of direct taxes in country's GDP is, I think, 4.7%. So indirect taxes share in country's GDP is 5.4%. And the thing is that if you have the low direct tax and the low corporate tax, so that is suggesting that you are shifting the burden of tax towards the poor. So keep this thing in head. Which of the following below has the highest weightage in the wholesale price index? So when the wholesale price index is being uh, calculated, then you give different weightage to uh, the different products. So some of them are for the manufactured products, it is 64.9% or 64.2%. Right. For primary articles, it is 22.6%. For fuel and power, it is 13.1%. Like this. So the correct answer is A. Now, when I have given you the question on wholesale price index, it is imperative that you will find out what is the level, what is the inflation of wholesale price index nowadays, uh, according to the latest economic survey. So if you look at uh, my other recording of the summary of economic survey, you'll find, uh, you may find few things there. Who is the chairman of 15th Finance Commission? Nirmala Sitaraman, everyone knows, right? She is the finance minister of the country. Uh, GC Murmu, was uh, is 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 the controller and auditor general of India. Dr. Y. B. Reddy wore, uh, was the chairman of 14th Finance Commission. G. C. Murmu is the chairman of 15th Finance Commission. Then, paper currency first started in India in which year? Right. So, in 1861. That is Paper Currency Act of 1861. And uh, this act gave the government of India the monopoly on printing of notes. 1861. Which month does Rabi season begin? And in which month Kharif season begin? So if you look at the uh, agricultural crop year in India, so it starts from July to June. Uh, so that entire year. And uh, there are two main seasons. One is the Kharif season, other is the Rabi season. Uh, Kharif season is from July to October. Kharif season is from July to October, right? And Rabi season is from October to March. October to March. So Rabi season is starting in October, Kharif season, July or June, 
So three is the right answer. And then uh, when I've given you the question on Rabi and Kharif, it is imperative that you should know uh, what are the different seeds or what are the different crops which are uh, grown in Rabi season, which one are grown in Kharif season, right? Okay. Which of the following institutions are not the part of the World Bank Group? Which of the following institutions? They are not the part of the World Bank Group. So World Bank Group consists of uh, uh, five developmental organizations. One is IBRD. That is International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. IDA. International Development Association. IFC. International Finance Commission. MIGA. Multilateral Guarantee Agency and ICSID, International Center for the Settlement of uh, Investment Disputes. Uh, and IBRD and IDA together they constitute what World Bank is. World Bank group involves these. World Bank is the, uh, is, is the combination of these two. So WTO, that is not the part of World Bank, World Trade Organization. That is not the part of World Bank. Which of the following is not the tax rate slab in union budget of 2020-2021? Right. So she has introduced uh, two new rates of income tax. One is 15%, another is 25%. So of course, 40% is not the is not added to the union budget. So 40%. This most of you should be knowing. Uh, Swaj Bharat mission was launched on 2nd October 2014. Which state has been declared as the first open uh, defecation free state? Sikkim. I was reading somewhere. Sikkim was uh, declared as first open defecation free state even before when uh, the mission has started. So... Which state has achieved ODF and electricity for each household? Goa. So, Goa is the state which has achieved ODF and electricity for each household, right? And uh, this, and there are other achievements also. It has also become the part of uh, the first the first state to provide the tap water to every household under Har Ghar Jal Mission. I think there was one more question which I have put up. Okay. Who coined the term evergreen revolution? Who coined the term evergreen revolution? MS Swaminathan. MS Swaminathan. So he said this that uh, you should be able to increase the production and productivity in the manner such that the short term and the long term goals of the food grain production they are not in contradiction with each other. So you want to increase the productivity, you want to increase the production. Uh, it should not happen that uh, the soil is degraded or the, or the climate is being affected adversely. That is the evergreen revolution. Under Jal Jeevan Mission districts, uh, dash districts have become Har Ghar Jal districts. Now, this is according to economic survey. 83 districts have become... Uh, Harghar Jal districts. So, Prime Minister's vision of providing clean tap water to every home in the country by 2024. And despite uh, uh, COVID pandemic, uh, Jal Jeevan Mission has provided uh, tap water supply to more than 5.78 crore rural households. This is there in your PIB, uh, your Public Information Bureau. Okay. What is the current repo rate and the reverse repo rate. It is A, 4.9 and 3.35%. So repo rate is the rate at which the commercial banks they are borrowing from RBI, right? Whereas reverse repo rate is the rate at which the at which RBI is borrowing money from commercial bank. Huh? So these were few questions uh, about Indian economics. Huh? So I hope you like it. And uh, if possible, do tell me how many how many of you got how much how many of these questions right.
चलिए थैंक यू बेटा